So Overwatch has a big problem that more and more people are starting to notice. What's up guys, Controversy here, and today we need to talk about an issue that I believe is the reason why players don't really enjoy playing up against heroes like Sojourn and Roadhog. And that glaring issue just happens to be that they can both one-shot you. So as you should all know by now, Roadhog will be losing his one-shot. Meaning that devs recognize that his one-shot is really just not healthy for the game. Furthermore, in regards to Sojourn, they try to remove her one shot as well, making it so where her max damage that she could do with a railgun headshot was 195 damage. But of course, as players do, they found out that Mercy could amplify her damage and bring her back to her one shot days. And as I stated in this video right here, I believe that the solution to Sojourn is to simply just get rid of the headshot on the railgun. I've also recently found out that this is the suggestion that Flats is also given, that Sojourn just doesn't need a headshot on her alternate fire. So at this point, it makes you wonder, does the game really need any one shots at all? In my opinion, as well as many others, we don't believe that Overwatch needs to have any sort of one shots in the game. They're really just not healthy. Gale here stated that this shouldn't be a hot take, but in my honest opinion, one shots in Overwatch ruin the game. And I'm with him on that. It shouldn't be a hot take. This is something that as you play the game more, you should start to realize that they're really just not fair. In many cases, getting a single pick on a support hero with Widowmaker can change the entire dynamic of that objective. And what some DPS players have been doing now is prioritizing the enemy DPS so that the enemy DPS can't pick off their own supports. And when you have one shots in the game like Roadhog, Widowmaker, Hanzo, and Sojourn, it makes it incredibly easy to do this. And here we have another tweet from Cryo who says, so when are one shots being taken out of Overwatch? It's just more evidence of players frustrated with getting one shot. In a game in a game like Overwatch, when you're supposed to play as a team and then you just have someone in the back who can just one tap you at any instant, your support players don't have the opportunity to heal the DPS if they're getting one shot. And the support players really have no opportunity to even try to defend themselves if they're getting one shot. And then you have Odo who stated, Widow doesn't belong in Overwatch 2. It's basically adding CSGO slash Valorant to a game like Overwatch. A bot hero that stands in Narnia hard scoping with a hitscan one tapping sniper rifle. Who believes that to be enjoyable? When you're on the receiving end of that, there's literally nothing that you can do. There's absolutely zero counterplay besides switching to a hero that can dive them. Problem with that is that Genji has been nerfed to the point where he's really not that viable and he's incredibly easy to counter, so even he isn't that great of a counter pick against Widow. Not only that, Tracer can't really challenge Widow on every map, so then at that point you have to resort to maybe trying Echo and hope that you can get the jump on her before she even sees you. It's kind of the same thing with Tonzo, you just have to dive on top of him and hope that you can kill him before he gets a lucky one tap on your face. So for me, the reason why Roadhog and Sojourn needed nerfs is because of their one tap abilities. So why are other heroes in the game available to do the same exact thing? Well, yes, I understand the nuance and know that it isn't exactly a direct correlation because it is a little bit more difficult to get those one taps with Hanzo and with Widowmaker than it is with Roadhog and Sojourn. But regardless, when they do get them and they will get them, it always is problematic. So for me, the solution is obvious for Roadhog. It simply change the way that either his hook works or, or change the damage output on his primary and secondary fire. For Sojourn, as I've stated before, just don't allow her secondary fire to headshot. For Widowmaker, I feel like a pretty interesting solution would be to, instead of making her sniper rifle primary, make it her ultimate. And whenever she turns on her ultimate, she still gets the walls effect, but it also gives her access to her primary which maybe can be on automatically instead of having to charge up and then from there maybe try making her primary fire the smg and make it way better than what it is right now again that's just me thinking off the top of the head it's just a little rough draft and i'm sure there might be a better solution and for hanzo i think maybe just don't allow him to headshot either make it so where he does a base amount of damage and he just has to hit you twice but getting picked by him and immediately dying from a headshot is just really in in my opinion it isn't balanced I know this is a perspective that many people aren't used to hearing, so I'm sure that a lot of you are going to disagree with this, but I at least urge you to at least think about it. Do you guys really think that one taps and one shot abilities belong in Overwatch in this 5v5 meta, or do you think that they should actually get rid of them and rework the heroes that are able to do so? If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you guys want to come back and see more Overwatch content like this, go ahead and hit that sub button, and I will see you guys in the next video.